Abu Hamad is a big locality in the upper Nile. Most of it is desert and many, many small islands. And uh, the distance is very long. Our job first was finding people with microfilaria. Now our task is to go within the communities to encourage them to take the drug. We have to think of how uh, we can give all the people in Abu Hamad locality this drug without refusals or absentees to complete our cycle towards elimination. In the past, the awareness of the people about the disease is very weak and we need to go and to talk and talk and talk and no performance. Now, I think people, they understand Hong Kong, they understand drug and uh, we can move easily. You know, these women, they have children, I'm sure. They have even husbands, mm. and yet they have to leave their goats, their camels, their husbands and children to walk 10 miles in this sun. So we, we need to clap for them. These are the... <laughs> I'm asking this. Do you buy the medicine? Did you just tell No. Do you go for it from Khartoum? Do you go for it in Abhamad, from Abhamad? No. Okay. At first they thought they are the ones doing it. They are responsible for everything. But they hadn't realized that someone thought about them, paid for this drug to be manufactured, transported it from the factory to the port of, of an endemic country, and from the port someone cleared it to the central drug stores, and from the central drug stores it was brought here. But then before the drug was brought directly down to the community, someone has already paid for health education materials, training, mobilization, and there is a chain of health workers that have to supervise. Someone has to take care of these supervisors to make sure they are doing the right job. And all that costs a lot of money. So when they realize that these things are happening, you could see a smile come back to them. Well, in Abu Hamad here, the activities are going well because people in the United States of America, in African countries, are looking towards Abu Hamad towards the big challenge, the elimination in Africa. We were controlling by distributing once a year. If you distribute twice per year, you will eliminate the disease. That is because the parasite uterus will be paralyzed for six months. So we give double dose twice per year. We call the influential people from the other villages and they came in and then they got convinced and then they were the one to take the drug in front of people. And even we, we had to have a drug in front of the community. And then at the end of the day, they took the drug and then they were happy. The children are the best people who can receive the information. And when they go back home, they share the information with their parents. And then we make sure that the information we need to pass it to the community is there. We are for uh, renewing the health education messages. So, Moses Katabarwa uh, and uh, Kata Center at the Khartoum level, Kata Center at the Atlanta level, are for assisting printing new health education material. Philip Chart, Bushers, uh, training material, manual, guideline training. So, everything in Abu Hamid we have trained, we have changed now. I would like to to thank the, the Carter Center, the Federal Ministry of Health, uh, the locality, the state, for their continuous support, and especially the affected community. And why I'm saying the Carter Center, because it's the one supporting our CDTI activities. And as we are documenting this one, we are hoping that in few years to come, we come again with the same camera to come and film our celebration, saying that Abu Hamid is free from Hong Kong, which could be example to other areas in Africa and say that it can be done.